Yeah. Welcome back, guys. Don Ching here. Game three, Menendian versus Weissman. Many won game one. Brian won game two. Also in our losers bracket match. <laughs> I mean, literally losers. I'm just messing with you guys. My good friend Clint, who basically spiked all the ice cards out there in the world. Clint, how do you feel? Clint, how do you feel about that? Because those giant growth IC went from yeah. five bucks to seven fifty. Oh, suck it, everybody. <laughs> suck it. <laughs> and when Spike Sharazad, we're uh, oh, you ready to go? All right, so Don, so we got game th uh, three. Who's gone? Go on. I'm first, and I should keep this. Let's see it. Hold on a second, focus. Okay. Should you go? Let me see. Run it. Okay. Uh, that's that's pretty balls. Yeah, that's burn for one. Oh, no, I'm joking. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Absurd opening. Yeah, that's ideal. <clears throat> He's already under the vice, almost. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Do you think vice is the sure. the engine of this, or is it the uh, onk? Go ahead. The awesome. engine. What do you the mean? engine of this deck. Well, what's the engine of this deck? Specifically, this particular the so the, the the Atog deck. Um, this deck doesn't have an engine. What it does is it applies pressure and then continues to back up that pressure. So, okay. so vice, onk, all those are just pressure items. Yeah, they're all just pressure items. You're just trying to constrict the opponent. Got it. It's kind of like workshop, uh, the stacks deck. It is. But basically, it's, it's uh, but you have no, damage. You have no ta mana taxing effects. Right. It's all just. Flat out. Fly out. Pressure. Mm -hmm. And I'm going to activate my this. Your four cards? Yeah, yeah there's a four that you're going to keep. Okay. Come on, kids. So Hercules goes off first and those come back. And then Disc Effect blows these up. Pause the video, everybody. Find out. Tell me what do you think. Brian Weiss. Um, Brian Pizza Man Weissman. By the way, how's that going? Okay, Brian's, uh, can I, say, I, I can say that, right? Mm -hmm. Brian's investing in a round table pizza franchise. Cool. So he's been right. doing the last, what, month? Kind of learning? or uh, last Well, two, week, two weeks of on of on site training in uh, just outside of where, Sacramento. Where are you opening it? Out of Sac? Well, I'm, I'm buying an existing one. Okay. It's by the, uh, by the airport, by the SeaTac airport in the area called Burien. Hmm. Yeah. Well, that's Really? Yeah, that's true. You guys are from Burien. But um, I have I have broader ambitions, oh, yeah. which is building a yeah. new one, a brand new one, to, um, farther north to service kind of the greater Seattle. Uh, Jesus, what happened to all of your lands? Oh, because you're playing four strips. Come. That's what I would have gotten. The A word. Steve, what do you think? A word's the best card in the entire game? Ancestral? Uh, I think probably library. In, in old school, 93, 94? Yeah. Well, it's probably library or mind twist, followed by balance and then ancestral. Really? Yeah. You don't, what do you think, Brian? Um, I'm, I'm sorry, I spoke to you. Best card. Best card in 93, 94. The best card is Ancestral Recall. So, sure. wait, wait, you, you use library. library? I say library. I think the most powerful card is library, mm. but I think the best card is Ancestral. That's semantics. It's hard to debate that. It's, mm. it's true, but I, my, my justification for that is that in terms of just uni general so universal utility. utility, Ancestral is it's the most common demonic tutor target. It's the card that you, d depending on whether you're playing with four script lines or not, but it's the card that you least likely want to see at the beginning of the game. And it's also, it has this recursive property to it. It snowballs with regrowth and the other. Yep. I disagree. I think that library can be played in any deck, whereas Ancestral can't. And library is, I think, uh, if you had to choose in most decks, maybe not blue control decks, between library or Ancestral, they would choose library. I'm done. Oh, interesting. Yeah. It's Go good. What about vintage? In vintage is no no, no question. Ancestral is, oh, the best card in vintage? Yeah. Black Lotus. Yeah. Mm. It's, yeah. The, the, the Lotus gets really elevated. The faster yeah. the format gets, right. Library of Alexandria just phases out. Mind Twist phases out. Yeah. A lot of those cards right. just become obsolete. Mind Twist is unrestricted. Pass. <clears throat> Two cards coming? Yeah. I have three, actually. You have three? Okay.
Glenn, what are you playing? Did you make some, the deck variant? No. No, he made a Hercules Recall artifact deck. Clint loves Hercules Recall, by the way, guys. It's a good card. Loves. Why is Hercules Recall not used more in, in, uh, in, in, in old school? I need three, four. I'm not sure. Maybe it should be. It's done. If you're playing Black Vice, I feel like you should have Hercules Recall. Right? If you can just, like, bounce three cards to his hand when you're playing Black Vice, it's just like, what? Pass. Ah, okay. Pass. Pass. Six now? I do. You have five? Currently five. Don't okay. Someone just drew City of Rats. Good read. <laughs> Pass. <laughs> oh, because of this piece of paper? Yes. Yeah. Pass. I am going to. This present a dilemma. Do this. I'm going to. Hmm. Disenchant on the black vice in a turn. Do you guys think uh, old school is growing? Pass. Overall? Yes. Yeah? I think so. People, I, I literally get emailed by people constantly saying that they just discovered old school and now they're buying cards. Constantly. How are you, Steven? Growing? Uh, I think there's probably a low rate of growth, but I also think there are people who are probably selling out. So it's hard to say. I think it's, if it's growing, it's a single digit percentage. Okay. Those are my selfish six. Wow, bold. Okay. I fear no black vice. How many? Six. Wow, okay. Mm -hmm. I love seeing Brian behind his weapon. Oh, you mean the deck? This is not the deck I would be playing, but yeah, I, I enjoy seeing him. You mean the, this version of the deck you wouldn't play? No, no, I'm saying I wouldn't play the Atog. Right, right, right. Yeah. yeah, yeah, of course. No, I know your deck is quite a bit more flexible. That's direct. Do you think we'll see a lot of this in tournaments? I do. From, yeah, the okay. ATOG deck? Yeah. I think it's very popular, it's intuitive. It doesn't require a lot of strategic or tactical consideration. It's, uh, it's linear. Players gravitate towards that. All right. How many rounds is Noobcom? Seven, eight. Oh my god. Yeah. Plus top eight. Probably and eight. top eight, jeez. Eight plus top eight. Go ahead and step up this place today, it's done. It's gonna be quite fun, guys. If you guys are gonna, you guys, uh, we're gonna have tons of videos about our trip in Europe. You have to untap after brain guys. Right? Yeah, you're not coming back from that. It's pretty gross. So Brian, that game was pretty much at a certain point. I think you got mana screwed, right? Well, he he screwed. I've never built a yeah. He played the disenchant on my soul ring, which was totally correct. But um, it wasn't necessarily the obvious option. It was... No, not the double vices. Yeah, yeah. But, but it was the correct option. But you had a twister. Yes, that's why. But you didn't I have an end of the play. I couldn't uh, play the that was the... Yeah. yeah. I was... The plan was double turn one double vice. Turn two time twister. Exactly. Ah. Uh, wow. That would have been... Yeah. That potentially could have been lethal. Yeah. Yeah. Good play, Brian. Excellent. Thank you, man. Is... Yeah, is I, that, I actually didn't even have to demonic tutor for the time walk. I had it. Go ahead. Oh, tutor for ancestral. Oh, you did. The actually, words. I didn't. I didn't say. But what I've actually, what I've actually Sweet. would have time for, uh, demonic there for was. Uh, All right, guys. That was game three. That was. Uh, I would say that was a little not as spicy. At a certain point, the deck controls the Atog deck quite a bit. But we'll see how game four goes. Good luck for a hundred thousand dollars in a beta star deck box signed by the Walls. I'm not gonna. Can you feel it? Can you feel it? Man.